Alright, no? so in this video, we'll be solving about problem involving a, a shunt generators. No? So we're still in our discussion on DC generator. Okay, so here we have the problem. The field current of a 180 kilowatt, 250 volt DC shunt generator is 6 amperes when running at full load. Okay. At rated terminal voltage. If the combined armature and branch resistance is 0 0.02 ohms, solve for the electrical efficiency of the generator. Okay? So we have here our solution. Okay? So first, we need to find our... Uh, maybe we need to find our... Uh, line current no? to understand that better we must uh, have first our diagram no? so we just use this blue pen here no? so here we have our um, this is our EG or the generated AMF then we have here our RA okay then we have here our shunt resistance okay so this will be our VL or the load voltage. So this is our RSH, which is the shunt resistance. Then this is our brush and armature resistance, no, which is 0 0.02. Then our VL, which is the terminal voltage, which is 250 volts. And our power is equal to 180 kilowatts or 180,000 watts. Okay. So what else do we need to solve for? To write, no? So we need to find our IL here. No? IL. So then we have here also our um, IA. No? Okay, IA. Then the shunt uh, current, no? So it is 6 amperes. So we have here our 6 amperes. Okay. So this is our diagram, so we need to find the efficiency. And we know that efficiency is equal to the power of the load over the generated power times 100%. So this is for generator. No? 100%. Okay. So to get the power generated, so PG is equal to the generated EMF times our IA. Oh, from our diagram, we could say that our IA is equal to the amateur current is equal to our ISH. So this is our ISH, by the way, the 6 amperes. So ISH plus the line current or IL. No? So we need to solve first for our IL. No? Solving for IL, so we will use, we know that our PL is equal to IL times VL. So solving for IL, so IL is just equal to PL over VL or equal to 1,000, 180,000 watts, no? Divide 250 volts. So we can now have our IL, okay? So let's just use here our calculator. So that is 180,000 divide 250 okay so this will be equal to 720 so 720 amperes so substituting so that one so we have here our ia is equal to ish which is 6 amperes and il is equal to 720 amperes so our IA is equal to 726, no? 726 amperes, okay? So we have now I, our IA, our amateur current, so we'll be solving now our generated EMF. So generated EMF, so that is equal to the voltage drop on our armature and the voltage across our RSH, no? For the voltage across our RSH, it's just equal to our VL because they are just parallel you know, with each other. While for our, the voltage drop for our armature, so that is equal to IA times RA plus our terminal voltage, which is also equal to the 
um, voltage across our shunt, no? shunt resistance. So we have um, 726 amperes times uh, what is our armature? So 0 0.02, 0 0.02 ohms plus 250 volts. So our generated EMF is equal to our calculator that is um, 726 times 0 0.02 plus 250 so this is equal to 264.52 so we have 264.52 volts so we just substitute our generated amf and our amateur current in this uh, formula to get our uh, generated power so we have uh, 264.52 volts times 726 amperes okay so let's use again our calculator okay so that is times 726 so we have 192,041.52 okay so 192,041.52 watts okay so now we could solve for our efficiency you know so we have pl which is equal to 180,000 watts over our generated power which is 192,041.52 watts times 100 okay so our efficiency is equal to so let's call upon our calculator so we have 180,000 over 192,041.52 okay. okay times 100% or 100 so that is 93.73 no so our efficiency is 93.73% and this now will be our answer okay so i hope you understand something in this video and as always enjoy learning